What's up guys, Chris the Marvel Buff Nerd here with some video game <laughs> bombshell news that dropped, oh, overnight really, but everybody's talking about it today, and I want to talk about it because I love video games, and I love the person this is about. So if you like video games, and you like Pedro Pascal, then uh, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell here on my YouTube channel. You're welcome to follow me on my other affiliate links like Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Snapchat, and let's get into this. So... The Last of Us, the Neil Druckmann video game, which has a sequel that was released uh, last year. Huge game, you know, many accolades. And uh, I've I played them. They're huge survival horror, post-apocalyptic style video games. And it's been long speculated that we're going to get a, an HBO Max um, iteration of it, you know, a live action iteration of it. And we finally got some news about some casting today, or like I said, overnight. Pedro Pascal, the Mandalorian himself, which, I mean, he's done a plethora of things. He's great in Narcos. Uh, he's great in Wonder Woman 84, to me, as Max Lord. I know he was great in Game of Thrones. I act I'm personally not a Game of Thrones fan. At least I haven't seen anything yet. Um, so maybe I'll get on that boat. That's not for here. But I know he has a huge amount of clout. Kingsman, you know, just a huge amount of clout. I love Pedro Pascal. I've been a huge fanboy of his for a while now. And especially The Mandalorian really, really won me over. But I've always enjoyed him and anything I've seen him in. He's just always a great presence, great actor. He, he's a beautiful man, of course, as we all know. So, you know, it, it, nobody's ever hurt to see him, usually. Um, so we get him as Joel, the gruff anti-hero of the story. And, you know, I, he wasn't one that I had anticipated or seen in my mind. You know, I was thinking more of like a, uh, maybe a Hugh Jackman, John Hamm, uh, you know, something along those lines. Um, maybe even like a Stephen Lang, but I guess he's, he's getting a little too old at this point, maybe to, for the, for us to take place at the beginning of the story where Joel's in, I don't know, his early 40s. So I guess we do need a relatively young actor to come in and portray Joel, um, you know, because he's also a very strong, good, he's very good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, he's very strong compared to everybody else uh, in the room, you know, he grows into this this pretty much a badass, you know, this guy that gets his way and cuts his way through this, you know, zombie-style post-apocalyptic world. He's a smuggler, you know, he, he lives a rough life in these games. Um, so it, it's cool to see that we've got somebody gruff that can do hand-to-hand -hand combat and portray deep gritty roles before to step into this. Somebody that the public loves. So as far as marketing and whatnot, I think this is just great because, hey, you like The Mandalorian? He's Joel in The Last of Us. Come to HBO and watch the show when it comes out in 2021 or 2022, whenever it comes out. Uh, yeah, guys, I want to keep this short and sweet. I'm super excited about this. I know I know that Ellie has been cast uh, as Bella Ramsey, and I, I'm not a huge Game of Thrones person, so like I said, I know that she's done great things. I just don't have a lot of experience you know, to talk to about with her. My main point of contention for this was I'm super excited for Pedro Pascal as Joel. Joel's one of my favorite video game characters ever, so I'm super excited about this. Um, so yeah, if you like this, guys, I encourage you to just let me know in the comment section down below, or just drop me a like on the video, or a dislike if you don't like me at all. I don't care. It helps the algorithm. Follow me here on YouTube, on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Snapchat, and Patreon, all at Marvel Buff Nerd. I appreciate it, guys. Let me know what you think of this video game news. Have a good one.